I am Isis. Today is giving birth to potential. I greet you, beloved family. I come into your space. I connect with each of you. I look forward to this time that we will share together. And I invite each to each to truly feel and know the physical person that you are. Take a moment and feel your legs, your arms, your torso, your head. Know that you are completely physical in this moment. Let yourself take a breath in and expand your consciousness while in this completely physical place so that you can open your senses and perceive the energies around you. You are each currently within at least the fourth dimension, some of you already shifting into the fifth dimension. You can with this expansion of your awareness perceive more of the subtle energies that are around you. I know this is a bit different than what we usually do or talk about when we get together, but I want you each to truly feel your physical self and feel the energy in the space in which you are at this moment. All right, now you can shift your consciousness, letting go of this physical body, letting go of this space in which you are. Allow yourself to shift your focus until you connect with the magnetic grid. As you come into this space, you immediately link with the energies of your higher self. Feel what this is. Feel it. You may already recognize that you perceive more than you normally do at this point, and that is because you took the time to truly be in your physical presence. For even just those few minutes. Therefore, as your consciousness is shifting and expanding, you are more aware of everything that is around you and that you are connected to. Release the density of the earth plane. Release the magnetic pull and allow yourself to move through the interlocking grid so that you may link with the crystalline grid. Feel what it is to be in this presence. Allow yourself to take in the energies of all those crystals that are around you. Some of them may be more illuminated than others. Allow yourself to link with one individual crystal or with the entire grid, whatever you feel called to do. Feel what it is to be in this pure energy. Feel just how much crystalline energy is a part of you. Allow yourself to call forth a column of light. As you do so, you may find yourself shifting either with or without the column. And let your energy move through, allowing you to shift into the space of the soul plane. 
If you feel a sense of coming out of that column, most often it feels as if you blossom and move in every direction. So let yourself reacclimate with the energies of your divinity. You may do this by calling forth your I am presence. And as you do so, you link so that you may consciously be aware of what this presence is to you. There are many, many facets and levels to your soul essence. There is a great deal that you are able to connect with and perceive. Even though you are in this expanded state, there are still aspects of your soul essence, your divinity, that you are unable to perceive. So take in as much as you can, allowing yourself to truly revel and feel how good it is to be within yourself. I again come forth into this room and now I'm able to blend an even greater amount of my energies within each of you. I reach out and embrace each one of you. I enfold you in my energetic arms and wings as we merge. I am able to amplify your energies. Just let yourself shift, moving consciously into the space of the all that is. Within this space you are able to move freely, you are able to expand in many different directions. This is your opportunity to let your consciousness stretch as far as you may go. You come here in your dream state. You come here during meditation. And many of you come here just with your thoughts as you are moving through your days. This is your space created by everyone with consciousness. Therefore, people may utilize it in whatever way they so choose. It is a place of creation. It is a place of linking with others. So take this opportunity to look around and feel what it is to be here. There are many angels and guides who have chosen to come in for this experience this evening. There are many, many opportunities of energy to be brought into the earth. Some of you have felt them at the time they occurred. Others were more aware of it during the time in which that energy was acclimating upon the earth. We are going to take this opportunity to be able to feel and know a greater balance. I invite each of you to take this moment and move back into the compassion that we spoke of with our last journey. You may continue and to connect with this by inviting compassion to come in and be a part of your awareness. For some of you, it was difficult to be able to identify what compassion was to you. Take this moment to breathe in deeply and see if you have a new awareness. Compassion is an energy that can allow you to create change. It allows you to release judgment of yourself and others. It allows you to release any hurt or guilt that you may be feeling. It also allows you to open to a greater amount of acceptance. I invite you to use compassion as a part of your daily life. 
if you feel yourself in a place of confusion, breathe in the energies of compassion and let that give you a new perspective. If you feel yourself being harsh with yourself or others, again breathe that in. From within that space, I invite you to open to feel all that many feminine energies that are flowing through this space. I acknowledge there are many, a multitude of different religions upon the earth at this time, and I honour each one for their unique beliefs, and I honour each individual for their choices that they make within their beliefs. There is a great deal of focus at this time of the year upon the time known as Christmas. And no matter what your religion is, everyone or most people have heard about it and is aware in one degree or another. This can be very stressful for you. It can be very emotional. But as you are in the space, draw in the compassion and let that ease whatever may be going on within your life. Now, as I spoke of this holiday, I want to tap into the energies of the Divine Feminine and of giving birth. This is why so many have come into terms of the angels and the guides to be a part of this experience tonight. There is just about every form of the Divine Feminine and they come forth at this time and flow energies into this group and into all who are present. So consider in your life, whether you are male or female, what it is to give birth. You give birth to new ideas, you give birth to new potentials, you give birth to change in your life, and you give birth in whatever way you choose. So let us begin with the time in which you were coming up with something new that you were seeking to have within your life. Take this moment and think either something that has occurred or something which you would like to occur and bring it inside of you. Hold it within as if you are nurturing a life inside of you. Feel how it changes so that you, what you originally came up with may or may not be the final outcome. Sometimes you are holding holding it inside of you for a very long period of time. Other times it may be very short. Of course, there's no right or wrong. It is always perfect for whatever the situation may be. And then, as you consider the aspect of giving birth, for some, whatever you created comes with ease. For others, whatever you created emerges with a struggle that may be long time consuming, perhaps filled with pain. No matter what the process of giving birth to your idea is, the create creation that you have made does come forth. So then it may be what you are seeking has arrived in completely different form that you, than you anticipated. It may be that what you created is there, it's around you, but you don't see it or recognize it. It may be that your creation has arrived and is even more glorious than you anticipated it could be. So each time you move through this process will be unique and different. Consider your creation you have now given birth and you shift into the nurturing, the caring, 
and then allowing whatever you give birth to to grow. By that I mean you most likely had very specific ideas about what it is you were creating and manifesting. Be open to the potential that it takes on a life of its own. But this is still your creation. It is still influenced by you in one form or another. So let yourself enjoy. Let yourself be in the moment. Let yourself open to acceptance of all these various potentials. Now then, look around you once more and send forth your energies to the Divine Feminine. Send forth what you gave birth to and let those energies swirl with everything else and everyone else who is here. Feel what it is to be in this completely feminine space. Feel what it is to nurture, give birth and let go to allow for your creation to manifest in the most perfect and beautiful way. Feel the love of all the divine feminine that is here and giving to each other unconditionally. Now in order to allow for a greater amount of balance we give forth the energies of the masculine. We invite God, Ra, Jeshua, all the masculine energies to now step forward and the feminine energies take a step back. Feel what it is to be in the space of the masculine energies. It too can be very gentle, very loving, very nurturing, but masculine is just different from feminine. So feel those energies as they flow through this space. Allow the masculine aspects within yourself to reach out, connecting with this presence as it moves through the group. And as it moves through you, whereas one, the feminine, may need be perceived as soft, pastel, light and gentle ease, the masculine come in and perhaps these are primary lights, they are bold, they have movement and we know there are so many feminine that has this type of movement also just as there are so many masculine that have the energies of the feminine. But there are still differences. So let yourself feel the difference. Feel the energy, the power, the movement, the masculine. There may be a particular guide or energy that you like to work with and they make you themselves known to you right now. Consider the creation that you have just given birth to and released. Call it back to you at this time and perceive if there are any changes to it as if in the flow of this deep well of masculine energies it may give you a new perception. It almost makes me chuckle to see that as the masculine and feminine are connecting, in many cases, it's as if sparks are being released, as if bolts of lightning, and there are other cases where it's just smooth and gentle blending. Let yourself be in this space of flow and dynamic motion. Hmm. And of course some of you may sense a change as you hear it. And there are some of the masculine speaking through me, the goddess, at this time also. So let all of this be your reality. Let it be your creation. 
And again, I invite you to release what you have created. Feel it as if you let it go, let it move away from you. And now I invite all within this community of soul to reach out and connect with one another. The energies of the feminine that have been here step forward and they blend with the energies of the masculine. It is as if they have all created a circle. Within that circle are each of you. Let yourself fully blend within yourself and let your balance of masculine and feminine be complete. Let yourself connect with anyone else. And I invite you to take this opportunity to release this space if you so choose. And you may move through the universe, move to connect with a star, a planet. You may choose to connect with the energies that are here and present. There is so much that is going on upon the earth that there are times in which it feels you are on a very fast train. And in part, that is why this has been a particularly feminine year. If you want to speak of, at that, or call it at that, but many, many people have been feeling the change in truth. The integration of these energies are occurring with greater, greater ease. There's always the potential for physical occurrences whenever these energies that come onto the earth but through the work of all of you and the many light workers there's a great deal that get diffused that is another reason why i chose to have this journey about feeling the masculine and the feminine at this time so let your awareness shift once more so that you may return to this group energy. You have further integrated your own masculine and feminine and just as you became so conscious of your physical body before this journey that will allow this integration to more deeply occur within you. Some seem to be wearing at this time, if you look around or feel within this group, wearing party hats. Allow yourself to be in celebration. Celebrate life. life. Celebrate feeling human, being human. Celebrate your divinity. <laughs> Celebrate all that is around. There's never anything too small to ones to celebrate. There's never anything too large to celebrate. So be open and allow. This time on earth, reaching up to the end of this year, beginning soon a new year, you all know it's a time to celebrate. I always find such joy in these gatherings because I perceive music in places, I perceive quiet conversation in other places, but I perceive intimate gatherings. It's as if anything goes. Celebrations. I know 
it is here it'll be going on for quite some time all the celebrations there is no time or space within here so you are all welcome and you are always present if you so desire so allow your group it may be everyone here or there may be a few or those that continue to celebrate but allow your the group to come back and form an energetic circle and as you do so you may perceive coming up within that circle a hologram that represents the earth the hologram comes up and begins to rotate slowly Lady Gaia comes forth, reaching out to embrace each one of you. She actually was a part of the celebration also. We see her with her party hat on. Still, she hasn't removed it yet. She doesn't want to. As I spoke earlier, one of the reasons that there were less difficult things occurring upon the earth with the integration of energies is because of what you, the energy workers, are doing and this infusing into the hologram and then sending that back to the earth is a very important means of allowing this to happen. So take this moment, bring it to your mind once more, what you created, nurtured, gave birth to what you infused with the masculine and feminine energies. And I ask you to take a moment and perceive, is it the way you started out or has it changed? So just allow your focus now to return to the group. See again the flow of energy as it moves between all of you. Allow yourself to communicate with the others if you so choose. Allow yourself to enjoy. And with that, we'll release the energies of the group. Let yourself shift into the space of the soul plane. Give the soul plane a moment to adjust to your energies. Look around once more and look inside. See if you're able to perceive more of your divinity. See if you're able to receive more insights from your own self. Open to accept the love, the joy that is here and present for you from your soul essence and from here allow yourself to shift your focus once more let yourself move into the space of the crystalline grid allowing yourself to feel this alignment to feel this connection then you continue on connect yourself connect with the energies of the magnetic grid feel what this is to you feel the energies you again perceive the pull of the earth and allow yourself to connect with that aspect where your higher self resides you have a greater knowledge and perception with your current expansion. From here, let yourself go back within your physical body. You may feel a need to adjust your energy field so that you're comfortable as you bring your expanded consciousness back within yourself. Just let yourself become aware once more, feeling your physical body, letting your expanded energy align and acclimate with where you are, where you started this meditation today. Feel the balance of your masculine 
and your feminine. Feel your creation and know that all is possible. As you continue to ground yourself, just remember, I am always here at your service. I am Isis. I thank you for being here with me today and I hope it has been of assistance to you. Namaste.